Hello, beautiful Gemini. Sorry, I didn't know if that was started, but it did start. Gemini, last but not least, this is your reading for June. If you guys are new, welcome. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you guys want a reading, this resonates for you. Take a look down below. I am open for readings. Oh, sorry about that. Hold on. Sorry, my loves. <laughs> let's just say communication's coming in, all right? So let's take a look, Gemini. The phone rang. So you are about to get notice about something. Someone's calling you. Someone comes, someone's coming towards you. Let's see what's going on for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node for June. We are going to take a look at foundation. These are your overall energies right now. We're going to take a look at mission and finances. But if love interplays into it, which I feel it already is, uh, we will take that as well. But we're also going to look at love as well. Okay, so let's take a look. Whoa, wow. Look at these soul cards, they're absolutely beautiful. You've, you've eaten your own tail. I'm getting the snake that eats its own tail, the obelisk, right? It eats its own tail, it's the ending and the beginning, the omega, never ending. And there's a massive amount of, of enlightenment. You're also being watched. This, this looks like an eye to me. You are also being watched over and protected by the divine as this new massive karmic cycle has ended in your life, Gemini. Okay, um, wow. Somebody, this is the masculine and feminine energy. Someone's in despair about you, Gemini, all right? You are um, completely listening to your guides. You aren't listening to darker energies, but you're listening um, to all your spirit guides, uh, to God, to how the energies are moving and guiding you. And um, this is... <laughs> Your masculine is not doing too good. Let's get some more clarification on this. Can I get a card for each one? There's a massive cycle that's ending. Okay, it's going to affect everything. Your foundation, your love, your love life, Gemini. And someone is coming towards you. Clarify this masculine here. Wow, wow, wow. We're getting three cards for that. Wow, okay, okay. And this one. Wow. Yeah, your masculine's awakened. You're both ending massive cycles. This is a twin flame reading for Gemini. You may want to watch a Virgo as well. I got that through Virgo as well. Some cards came up, I think, that are the same, but I'm getting pulled with this Virgo on your chart or your person's chart. I would go look at the Virgo reading as well. Your masculine's woken up. This is divine feminine energy. You're being watched by your masculine. You're also being watched by the higher gods, okay? God, God asks that are watching you and protecting you. This masculine's coming to massive awakening in his mind. He knows this connection is hitting a huge new cycle, okay? The right cycle. Karma has ended in this connection, okay? So, Gemini, this is for you. This is going to change everything in your life because what we have here, the feminine has been gaining momentum in her self esteem. This is why the masculine feels you, okay? He's been in despair about this connection here gemini and the feminine has been building herself up knowing her loving her body loving her temple loving her gifts being honest with herself being true to herself speaking ruthlessly about her truth and this has killed the masculine's ego <laughs> i'm just gonna put it out here he's like laying here on the ground where's his head his head is over here it looks a little weird because there's a, a triangular piece coming right through the middle of his forehead and it's leaking his third eye look at this oh my god i've never seen that before and look who's in his third eye there's a human there's a woman in here he's gained enlightenment of his i can't i can feel this Woo! this is potent gemini this is this feminine in his third eye and it's broken his mind because even this doesn't even look like a brain to me i have to look at this it's like his face see the eye there and the eye there and then his third eye is leaking out and this feminine that he knows that he's awakened to is opening a doorway i almost felt like this was a doorway but it's like all this light is like seeping through and this energy is because the feminine has completely come into enlightened space of loving herself look at she's holding herself she's holding her her flupa what is that called when your belly hangs over i got one of them the flupa it's like i don't care i don't care because warrior spirit i'm gonna be honest goddess energy right they're all chunky girls. Do so you look at goddess temples and stuff like that? Not that the, a fit body is not 
it, trust me, I've been totally ripped too. But to maintain a body like that takes a lot of self-control. And when you are a divine feminine energy, you're balancing more than just the 3D world, right? You are mastering everything at once. So um, you are honoring however your body has fallen into its place. <laughs> you're honoring those stretch marks. You're honoring the mind, the way that you think. Spirit is saying you're honoring the emotional realm. You're expressing yourself ruthlessly without not even caring what people think. If they don't like how I say it, then I don't care how they think and how I, who I am or any of that. You just don't care. You're not playing in those energies. You are complete because you're not a mean person. So if you're not a mean spirit, you know, you just say it. If people get offended, that's their problem. And you are fully loving yourself. And that has completely made the masculine surrender here. And look at this union, this masculine coming towards the feminine here in this beautiful, as she's in her element, he hears her, he feels her as she's sitting here with her guitar or her music and he feels her and everything's coming through. The music is connecting you guys as well. And this is the end. Look at this. This is beautiful. This is such a twin flame meeting right now, Gemini. So this is going to be changing in June. You're going to be hearing communication because I had a phone call. Validation, okay? Because look at this. There's the feminine and there's the mask. She feels, she hears the masculine, his many voices as well. Is what I'm getting. Just how he sees enlightened to this feminine inside of him, okay? When he thinks, when he closes his eyes, especially at night. He feels that. And here, look, he's awakened to her goddess energy. Look at the balance in these two parts. Really beautiful. So there's definitely a connection that is coming towards you. Um, a phone call, a text message, an email, whatever it is. This masculine does not want to be in this despair anymore. He's given, he's, he's recognizing what this is. He's, he's sad. I feel there's a lot of regret. He needs to forgive himself for what he's done. Um, if he's betrayed you, but I feel he's coming out of that completely because there's massive cycles ending here. And that's because feminine has been able to forgive herself for, um, how she's treated herself. So let's see what's going on for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Always look at your North Node, guys. It gives you a hint into the direction of where your soul is, uh, transcending into, okay? The direction. What is going on for Gemini, please? Now, this is a blessed, um, connection here. Wow, wow, wow. Look at this. Loyal heart, 35, 8. If you guys have 8s in your birthdays, 8s in your um, numerology, 8 in your... Um, and if 8 is significant somehow for you guys, 8th month for you guys, or um, it could be happening this August, okay? Uh, in the 8th hour, or something about 8s are definitely about you guys. But this is a union. Look at these two loyal hearts. You guys are loyal to each other in the energies. You know it. You can't help it. Breathe, Gemini. Whew. This is about completely allowing this to come together. Your finances, everything. The, it's fair to say we've kept things at a kosher level, at a balance for you, but it's not everything. You know that there's more potential, but you've just been surrendering and ending anything instead of trying to get somewhere and letting God guide it, the direction God is seeing things that you can't see. It looks like an eye to me, okay? <laughs> I don't know why I'm thinking of like Lord of the Rings, you know, where it's like the eye tower watching you, <laughs> but not creepy like that, okay? Um, yeah, so they're saying that this is a blessed path, okay? This is 2-2. Um, two, two. It's definitely a blessed path, and things are moving um, through you in June in this connection um, to bring things forward. Let's take a look and see why this energy is completely despair. You may have been uh, frustrated with this connection. You may have been frustrated in your life, Gemini. The spirit is saying that's only because you've hit a massive surrendering piece of allowing a karmic cycle to end. And it's bringing a lot of enlightenment into this union with your twin, okay? So this despair had to happen. You had to learn how to be flexible, patient with where your masculine was at, patient with where you were at, flowing with how the energies that we're at day by day guys the energies flip-flop they can flip flip-flop many times within a day with you and your twin especially when you're connected so deeply you have to learn to balance those energies out and um look at this even though things had left out to sea even though you're in separation we have another eight we have a seven and a ten okay which is an eight again together okay so it's a very significant infinity the one um, spirit is saying, even though you had to leave this connection behind, even though you had to go out to sea, 
there's something there's unfinished business there's an egg she's sitting on a big the big egg music is very prominent in this connection here's the piano keys um so if you've been hearing guitar and piano and things of that nature there's songs that are um very much guiding this connection spirit is saying that you had to go out to sea in order to find yourselves and now there's unfinished business here that uh, this masculine is realizing the regrets that are happening let's pull some tarot yeah because i'm not getting like a specific money endeavors investment oh well they are bringing up an investment okay but they're saying it's an energy investment um into yourself that's going to bring massive amounts of financial prosperity um Okay, thank you. And for some of you, you may have invested in some type of, I hear crypto for some of you, and then others, I don't like crypto. I think it's a scam, but I think it's a pyramid scheme, but some of you are reaping some benefits out of that, so I'm not trying to put judgment on that, but um, but there's something of an investment in stocks as well. Some of you may be reaping a benefit that you've been waiting for. Let's see what's going on here, please, for Gemini. What's going on for Gemini here in regards to June? Projection, please. What is going on for Gemini? Spirit is really bringing up this. Continue to be flexible, breathe, relax. Um, you've been manifesting this union because you know that's the next step in your path, Gemini. You'll keep moving forward. I don't think you're waiting for this person, but you're moving forward, and you know that along, at some point this person is going to meet up with you. That's what I'm feeling. What's going on for Gemini? Send them rising in Venus and North Node, please. So, this came up upright. so this is like coming out of being alone. <laughs> the Hermit Upright is a single card. It's being alone on your path, but you don't want to be alone anymore. So you're waking up, coming out of out of uh, being alone. Um, yeah, there's betrayal. People think the Ten of Swords is a bad card. It's not a bad card. The betrayal's already happened here. What's happening is like you can only move up. It's a burnt ground. It's like when there's a forest fire, everything's burnt to the ground. You can only go up at that point. And that's really what this connection has happened. Everything was completely solidified right to the bottom of the, of the ground before it could actually rise up. Um, there's no more um, planting seeds anymore, okay? This, is, this can't wait anymore. There's no more investment in old cycles of betrayal because you both had to walk through darkness to come into a union here. Okay, this is a really twin flame reading. I wasn't planning on doing that, but this is what happens, right? Um, this is what Spirit wants to bring through for you, Gemini. So this is really about two people coming together through the darkness. Um, it's going to affect your foundation as well, okay? Let's see how that's going to affect your foundation. How is this going to affect Gemini? Can you give us about money, please, Spirit? Money, financial, mission work, please, for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is going on for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus and North Node, please, about finances, money, mission work. What is this about, Spirit? I can't make this up. You may want to go look at the reading that I showed. Domestic harmony. All of that abundance and, and it's going to come through a domestic harmony when you start acting, okay, in your life, physical action. Um, and you've been acting in your life. So keep doing what you're doing, Gemini. I don't feel like you need to change anything. You have to just keep breathing, allowing, surrendering, being flexible here right? Um, you're just keep doing what you're doing. This is a blessed path and keep actioning your life. Okay. You may have to put some physical act, more physical activity into yourself, but I'm really feeling like this is, um, destined anyways. And so there's going to be victory and success here. You're coming out of that hermit mode. Um, everything's going to be manifested together. You both have gifts to bring together, to create a really prosperous foundation. What is going on for Gemini here in regards to June, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Yeah, things were hidden for a reason. We have the High Priestess. So things were hidden for a reason. Um, but you're using your intuition and you're following and you're surrendering. Spirit wants you to work on this and focus on what you've been doing. So don't worry about this. I think it's coming. <laughs> There's the masculine energy, upright, ready to give his cup of love. So... Let's clarify this despair because he's feeling it. He's feeling, I feel this mask is really awakened to whatever you've done, Divine Feminine, okay? He wants to return to the past, Eight of Cups in return. 
uh, in return, in reverse. Um, he want he hasn't he hasn't walked away yet. But look at this: a world in reverse. He wants to come back. He may have walked away in the past. Eight of Cups in reverse with the world in reverse. That means unfinished business. We had unfinished symphony, did we not? Yeah. He knows there's unfinished business. You can't run. You can't run. So this masculine knows there's unfinished business. And so he's definitely knowing that to get all of his abundance, to get his home life, to get the family, to get the, the business, to get the, the prosperity, he has to return to the past from where he walked away, where he tried to close the door. He has to return. He has to eat a little bit of humble pie and return in this this world in reverse, okay? So there's definitely going to be action that is coming in this connection. Wow, Gemini. I'm going to just pull some uh, love cards here. Let's take a look. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please, and North Node. What is going on for my beautiful gems? What's going on for Gemini? What's going on for Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is going on for Gemini with their counterpart, their foundation, their life, everything spirit? So it's all coming through. Let's come through for Gemini. One more? Yeah, I felt there was one more. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I knew there was one more. All right. Take them as they come. First card out. Both of you had a different perspective. Okay, but that's what happens with twins. They're both on two different realms. One's in the higher realms, one's more psychic than the other, one's more abundant than the other, right? So, um, and you can't fake that because what I'm seeing is like, if this person was with a karmic partner, <laughs> that person was not psychic. I'm just, they were pretend psychic. I'm just gonna be, I'm sorry, I shouldn't laugh, but this is the vision that I'm getting. Like, like they were trying to pull cards and give messages, but it was like not resonating and they were really looking at you i don't know who's the story this is but you may know this this karmic partner was like trying to study youtube and give messages and predictions to the masculine and being like yeah like i'm feeling like this is going to happen that's only because they watch a youtube video that day this person's like a little psychotic so i'm just being honest um so it created it, it seduced the masculine in somehow but what happened is he couldn't see your perspective yet he wasn't awakened okay to the connection in the psychic realm yet okay but it has happened now that's what i'm seeing he's seeing it now his third eye is wide open now okay that's what we were getting in this um so yeah there had to be some deadly sins this psychic connection was siphoned by dynamic forces black magic whatever else so there was a really dark period that you guys had to work through but you've gone through it they this masculine knows now even though he walked away that he needed that separation to know what this really was. And if it was meant to be, it would come back and he can't walk away from it. He knows that this is definitely a soul connection. Um, he's moving into calmer waters. Both of you are moving into calmer waters. You're both surrendering to return to the past because you're two bodies and one soul. Hallelujah. Wow, what a beautiful reading, guys. There is going to be physical action here, phone calls, manifestation in June. Something is happening to start this. I am super excited for you guys, gems. Virgo, too, had a really pretty amazing twin flame reading as well. So for June. So again, if you have Virgo in your chart, go take a look at that. Let's see what is going on for beautiful gems, please. What is going on for Gemini? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the Venus with their love life what is going on for gems we're gonna take it all guys we're gonna take it all and then this will be your reading let's take a look oh my god i can't make this i can't make this up okay you guys have been healing your heart from this connection okay you've been healing your heart and since you've been healing your heart look at this love call guys i can't make that up that's why there was a phone call today Look at the synchronicities. This is about stability. What can you build? What can you ground together? What can you manifest in a foundation together? This masculine ran away, but look, um, finding out the truth here, things coming to light. He ran away, but got a lot of clarity. Things coming to light about what's happened in this connection. Um, fear of intimacy. He was he was afraid, right? Both of you are afraid because if it's happening for your twin, it's happening for you. You're two you got confirmation of your two bodies and one soul. Okay, so um 
yeah that's what's happened there's a lot of passion here and again we have clarity and truth and a revelation of this passion and what this is i feel it was so passionate this masculine could not handle the passion that he felt that it was toxic um and so he tried to go into uh, into other situations that resonated that were like his family but his family is unhealthy so you now there's been an awakening and it's coming back around so this is beautiful guys this is massive healing together passion a lot of truth coming forward new stability security growth endurance flexibility um someone expresses love a message of love thinking of you and letting you know healing this heart wow beautiful reading gemini if you want to get more in detail about your person and about what's happening in june hit me up for a reading i'm already booking up pretty quick so send me an email and i can fit you in if you like this don't forget to like and subscribe hit that notification bell for my returning subscribers i'm sending you so much love comment i love reading all the comments i do my best to respond to all of them sending you so much love bye guys